Well, we're coming to that time in the cycle, the circle of our lives of a new year again, and that's days away. And I want to just give you an idea of what you can look forward to as hopefully you re-emerge and reconnect with God, your spirituality, your understanding of what matters, what gives meaning to your life, to community so important to our health and well-being, and to yourself, because this time of the year is really about stopping to find out who we are in relation to others and ultimately to see who we are in relation to ourselves, our own concept of ourselves, our habits, our behaviors, all that challenges us and all the ways that we can grow as we come to the end of the new year and begin a new year together. And together becomes so important at this time of the year. So this Saturday night, we have Slichot. Slichot starts at our synagogue this year at a new time, 9 p.m., not 10 p.m. It's traditionally a midnight service, but we'll do midnight East Coast time. Nine, we're going to be here in the sanctuary. If you don't know what Slichot is, come with curiosity. Just show up. Whatever age, you can sleep on a chair if it's too late for you. Just come. You'll find it meaningful and beautiful. The music, the themes of the service, the activities that Rabbi Sarah... Cantor Michael, Jerry, our music director, and I have in store for you, I think will surprise you. But what I want to say to you in addition is it's a potluck dessert. So afterwards, it's a nice chance to share something sweet with fellow members of your VOS family. So please do that. Next year, we come to the um, next week, we come to the High Holy Days, the beginning with Rosh Hashanah. We're going to be at Shepherd, as you know. If you don't know any of the details, times, places, just contact us, call us, email us, and we'll tell you. But what I want to encourage you to do is make an emergence, come out of the COVID state of being frozen in space for the last two to three years. And if you can, if it's safe and healthy for you to do so, step forward back into community. You know that at Shepherd, the sanctuary is massive, cavernous, which is an advantage now. It means that you can find any place you want and sit alone as a family, as a community, a group of friends, or as an individual, so that you can feel comfortable, centered, and able to process and enjoy the services. What we're going to do, instead of putting the slides up on the screens, at Shepherd showing the text. We're going to let the cameras do what they did last year, which is zoom in on the participants in the service up on the Bema, so that wherever you are back there, you don't feel like you're distant. So you have technology to help you with this experience this year. Uh, we're going to be at Lifeguard Station 6 at Zuma for Tashlich. Wear white, don't bring bread. Thanks to our synagogue president, Bill Levere, we have a big bag of uh, seed that you can use for the for Tashlich, symbolically casting off, and the seagulls will be happy as well. And then, of course, we have Yom Kippur. And what I want to suggest, instead of just telling you we have Yom Kippur and here's when it is and hoping you'll be there and Yisker, I want to suggest to you that you realize the power, the magnificence, the grandeur of these holy days, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and let yourself have them. If the issue is financial, if that's keeping you out of synagogue life, any synagogue life today, my suggestion to you is reach out to us. Part of our outreach is to find an easy way, a comfortable way with dignity for you to come and be with us. We promise you that. So please, please don't let that be a reason to disconnect from your Jewish life, to disconnect from VOS, and to disconnect from us as individuals who know and care about you and want to greet you and share the Holy Days with you. So in addition to the High Holy Days, I want you to know we have so much more in store in the year than we ever have in the history of the synagogue. We're in year, I believe, 37. We have never had as many offerings as we do this coming year. Adult education, kids' education, teen programming, experiences for all of us throughout the year, theater, just so many different things. And I hope this will be a year that you say, let's, whoever that is, looking to your friends, your family, or simply in the mirror, say, let's step forward. Let's re-engage and make this an extraordinary Jewish year. L'Shanatova, may the year be happy, healthy, safe, and God willing, peaceful.